Imagine waking up one morning just like any other day, but little did you know, the world was about to lose one of its greatest legends. On August 16, 1977, a quiet and ordinary day turned into a day that would stun millions and leave a lasting impact on popular culture. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, the voice behind timeless hits was gone, but why? How could this larger-than-life figure, who brought joy to so many, meet such a sudden end? As the years passed, questions piled up, and the search for answers became a fascinating journey. Elvis Presley's death remains one of the most intriguing and often discussed topics in music history. Over the decades, the story behind his passing has evolved, with new reviews and insights adding complexity to the narrative. It's almost as if, like a mysterious puzzle, each piece revealed has raised more questions than it answered. From sensationalized conclusions on TV shows to in-depth analyzes of his autopsy report, the truth behind Elvis' death has been a long and winding road. One of the key revelations is the role that Elvis' health, specifically his colon, played in his untimely demise. Dr. Nick, a trusted physician, highlighted the significance of Elvis' enlarged colon. He explained how this could have acted as a breeding ground for harmful bacteria, leading to toxin buildup and, ultimately, organ failure. Elvis' weakened immune system, a result of a genetic disorder called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, made him particularly vulnerable to such internal battles. But it's not just about the physical ailments. Elvis' life was one of immense pressure and responsibility. As a famous musician, he felt an obligation to his fans, always putting on a brave face, even when he was feeling unwell. His friend, George Klein, recalled Elvis' dedication, saying he would perform in front of thousands despite being sick, never wanting to disappoint his loyal supporters. This level of commitment is both admirable and heartbreaking, especially when we consider the impact it may have had on his health. In the years following Elvis' death, many books have been written, each offering a unique perspective and adding to the collective understanding of his life and demise. However, it wasn't until a deeper examination of Elvis' personal life, his family history and his internal struggles that a clearer picture started to emerge. By analyzing Elvis' family medical history, a pattern of colon-related issues became evident. This, coupled with his documented battles with infection and his known genetic disorders, painted a clearer picture of the challenges Elvis faced from birth. It's as if Elvis was fighting a battle that began even before he entered the spotlight. The analysis didn't stop there. A critical review of Elvis' autopsy report helped dispel some of the myths and falsehoods that surrounded his death. It served as a reminder that, while Elvis may have been a larger-than-life figure on stage, off stage, he was a human being battling personal demons and serious health issues. One of the most intriguing aspects of Elvis' life and one that often gets overlooked in the grand narrative of his success, is his unwavering desire to provide for his family and friends. Even as his health declined, Elvis continued to work tirelessly, unable to take a break, lest he jeopardize the financial security of those he loved. His cousin Donna recalls a heartwarming moment when Elvis spoke of a job he was saving for her three-month-old baby boy, a promise made with the best of intentions. Despite his fame and fortune, Elvis remained grounded, aware of his own mortality. In a 1961 interview, at the tender age of 26, he said, I look at myself strictly as a human being, and it can be snuffed out in just a matter of seconds. And tragically, his words proved prophetic. On that fateful day in 1977, Elvis' life was indeed snuffed out, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with fans worldwide. Elvis Presley's journey is a reminder that, despite our talents and achievements, we are all human with our own struggles and vulnerabilities. His story teaches us the importance of not just celebrating the triumphs, but also understanding the complexities and challenges that shape our heroes. As we reflect on Elvis' life and death, 
we are reminded of the fragility of existence and the power of a single individual to touch the lives of so many. And so, as we mourn the loss of this iconic figure, let us also celebrate his life, his music, and the indelible mark he left on the world. It's a reminder that sometimes the greatest superheroes are the ones who fight their battles with humility and grace, never forgetting their human roots. <laughs>